Hey, Internet, welcome back to Same Ish Different Day, the podcast where we continue the march into madness. I'm Raza Malik, and I'm joined with my Amazeballs co host, Bailey Nargang, also featuring the lovely Wine Mom, the arbiter of everything TikTok and YouTube. Hey, it's Wine Mom. Bailey here. Gotta drop that reminder that you can find this show on any streaming service you use. Remember to leave a sassy review, and you wanna bash us or our opinions generally? Well, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and maybe some other places in the future. I join these guys weekly to keep their egos in check as we break down complex social issues and talk about why your kids shouldn't be watching family vloggers. We talk about real-ish on a real level. Ain't got time for the Twitters? Don't worry, we have collectively wasted our existence combing the internet for you. Also, before these two get carried away, don't be shy. Join our Discord for the inside scoop. You can also support us on Patreon, where you can work your way up your our very own class system. And don't worry, it's pay to win. So welcome back to another episode of Same Shit, Different Day, where we try not to rip each other's heads off. Let's get it. What's up, internets? Welcome to Same Ish Different Day, the podcast with a name that we can't say anymore. This week, we wanted to talk about some timely topics by not talking about some timely topics. Everyone's got, it's like a tense situation in the world, no matter what country you're in, but we've all been in some form of lockdown or restrictions for the past while, thanks to a a nameless virus and something that we have found difficulties navigating is how to act like real humans and proper social animals, right? So in order to maintain relationships with your peers, how would you compromise and where would you compromise with them? So say we're butting heads about the vaccine. It becomes a very difficult situation nowadays to have a comprehensive discussion. And what we wanted to focus on today was like how to navigate that, right? Do you compromise with them? How much should one tolerate before setting a boundary? And while trying to maintain these relationships, are all parties involved trying to contribute or is it one-sided? Which I think is probably the worst and most toxic of the options, right? So, Raza, since you brought up this topic and helped set it up, I'm curious where you wanted to start off our discussion. Um, Well, I would... That last point that I brought up in my script that I wrote, um, I would like to, <laughs> to, 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 to say that, like, if it's one-sided, and because I have done this in the past where, like, I'm the one trying to make peace. I'm the one not causing anything, even though I'm on the opposite side of an, of an issue. I'm the one going to, to them, respecting their mindset, their viewpoints. And saying that it's not enough to ruin a friendship. I don't care enough about this issue to be like, I don't want to be friends with with you anymore. However, on the other side, in my group of friends where I live, specifically where I live, not in Toronto or anywhere else, but I am what I believe that I am the SJW of my group friends and I hate it. So... Um, like, uh, and people try to pressure me, but like, or quote unquote trigger me, which it doesn't work anymore since I'm like a grown ass man. But, um, uh, it's, uh, um, people here try to pry me when I'm not about that. I'm just like, here's what I think. I understand you're you're on the opposite side of that, and I like if if you want to have a healthy discussion, we can. But I don't think you can change my mind, and I don't think I can change your mind, and I'm perfectly okay with that. However, if you come to me in the future and say, "Look, here are some new points that I have learned. Let's talk about them," I will have a discussion with you. But if it's one sided, it just gets sort of like tiring. Yeah. Because then you are the one who's doing everything and you are the one who's trying to keep calm, trying to 
keep your try to control your own emotions when the other person isn't so so i i got a, i got a deep but important question here for you right oh boy. like i think you outlined <laughs> something no super important right is setting boundaries in these conversations of like what you want entering it and what you want coming out of it right yes how did how did you raza how did yes. you figure out how to do that for yourself like uh, like I, what do you mean like uh, to like, know what you want out of one of these conversations when you're trying to find a middle ground with someone that you know you're going to disagree with how do you how did you know that like okay you know what this is what i'm willing to give my friend this much because i still want to try to be friends it's because i i try to understand where they're coming from um and i like i do i i do see their side and i do kind of un, un, understand their side so I am when I do that, I'm able to draw a line. Be like, okay, they're not being arrogant about this. They're they're just coming from their perspective, their experiences, and I can't change those. So I'm willing to meet them halfway, if if that that means I get to keep my mindset or my viewpoints. You know what I mean? So like, I just I just think it's a good just understand your uh, the person you're talking to <laughs> understand then, your opponent understand your opponent you understand the en en enemy and then kill them but um uh, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then um like understand who you're talking to and then try to look at things f from their perspective if you can't just just i don't know that's that's the thing that i haven't so come then Crossword that's where this over. is where we get wine mom to come in because mm -hmm. wine mom is the master of drawing those lines right so i want to know how you <laughs> draw a line in the sand with someone when you're going at it um i okay so i'm probably a little bit different than raza because i think raza would try and a solid attempt to change someone's mind first I'm a pessimist yes yeah um my thing is like if somebody comes to me with a view that i don't believe in or i don't necessarily align myself with i just think like i'm not gonna fuck my day up for that <laughs> i'm yeah. not gonna do it mm -hmm. so most of the time i'll just be like that's cool i don't vibe with that thanks for sharing though <laughs> like is kind of like my go-to mm -hmm. um and I just try to say, like, you know, I'm glad that you feel passionate about this. I feel differently. Yeah. Good, good, mm -hmm. good for you. Keep mm -hmm. going. <laughs> do what you got to do. Yeah. Um, but again, like, it depends on the argument that's being brought. Like, mm -hmm. there are certain there are certain things that I will argue to the death about, and that usually has to do about women's rights. I'm gonna I'm gonna argue to the death about that. There is no question. Um. But when it comes to something like the current state of the world, if you're not my mom or my grandmother, <laughs> I, I don't care. You believe what you want because when the dust settles, it settles how it settles. And you'll figure out where you went wrong at that time. Mm. And I just try to, especially if it's someone, if, if it's a friend that I really care about, I just try to remind them, like, look, at the end of the day, you can have your opinion. It's so chill. I love that for you. Much respect. I care about this friendship. And that's like as far as I go in this conversation mm -hmm. with you. Like, I'll mm -hmm. just keep bringing it back to like, you're my friend and I love you. And that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I'm not yeah. gonna, I'm just not gonna disturb my peace. It's yeah. Just like... I've been really struggling with that part lately <clears> to like <throat> bring a grounding to all of this of Raza being healthy and then you being healthy of like, I've been bad with the emotional part. It's been rough. I get yeah. like heated and I don't want to get heated because it's a homie and I want to like take it slow mm -hmm. and like talk, but it's like I'm getting so frustrated about things so easily lately. So I, 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 know that struggle and it's an important mm -hmm. one to maintain for sure yeah uh sorry my mom go ahead oh sorry uh it's like one of the things i learned over the years that has helped me is if you're the one 
um, trying to do the good thing and keeping your friendships alive, controlling your emotions and controlling how you talk to like talk to these people and controlling what you say it helped me it's probably di different mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. for you guys but it helped me it it made me realize that not every single battle needs to be fought it's yeah. not worth it um pick and choose what you want to fight and that's you know, mm -hmm. the big thing for me and like I know this is gonna sound, I know I say this every week, and I know it's gonna sound dumb, but I saw a TikTok <laughs> where this girl was like, "Not my circus, not my monkeys," and I was like, "You know what, girl? I agree. Absolutely. It's not my circus, not my monkeys, oh, yeah. not my problem." And, and I my think mama like I've been saying that. Yes, and I feel like as humans, we spend so much time trying to be. Her and understood by people who are just literally not capable of hearing and understanding us yeah. and at yeah. some point in our lives we have to go look I understand that your your th way of thinking is limited and I'm not going to change that like mm -hmm. that just is what that is and I mean that in like the most like non-insulting way because I understand yeah. because when you because this is the thing when you hear some of the opposing arguments it's very easy to understand how a little less researched of a person could believe those things or somebody who's getting fast news or quick information or somebody who has a narrative that they care mm -hmm. more about versus the truth of their narrative. I can understand how you've made that cycle and how mm -hmm. that's become your personality. Mm -hmm. I respect it, yeah. but just leave me. Yeah alone don't debate with me unless you yeah. really want to debate with me because i'm gonna debate with you if that's what you really want but i just i'm not interested in disturbing the little bit of peace i have left so no yeah. thank you that's I like that, i do that enough with you guys i don't need it in my <laughs> i yeah. that's where i'm i'm kind of having an issue with because it's like I'm trying to keep the peace. I'm trying not to get into any sort of uh, con conflict whenever I see people or my friends with opposing view uh, uh, views. Uh, but it's so hard when they're like talking about it and all of them are mm -hmm. agreeing with it. And there's me sitting there, be like, that's not like thinking that like that's not factually correct what you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to just say Riza, this isn't twitter you can't dunk on them all right yeah. because <laughs> you will feel because to me what you, uh, to, uh, to what you uh, you uh, you, uh, you said um uh when a person has such a limited w world view uh and then you tell them that they don't come they don't really approach that from a logical yeah, yeah. they get kind of super That's emotional the and they mm -hmm. think you're calling them dumb when you're not mm -hmm. you're just saying you don't understand the, 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 the specific thing you're talking about just because your ex world experiences don't I haven't taught you about right uh, the... yeah so I think what I've... go ahead yeah. <laughs> so what i found is like the middle ground between all of our advices like that's why uh, the maintaining the emotions is important because I've been relying on being rather than casting like an opinion on like, oh, hey, like you're not seeing the full picture or this is I oh, it's OK, man. You're just we're not going to meet. I, I just try to non insultingly stick to my guns of like, no, this yes. is what I think. And then they go, oh, well, I think this. And it's like, oh, well, I don't. And then that you rather than get attitude -y, rather than getting like I, you should be canceled. It's just a, just say, no, I just don't agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just feel, feel better at though. I'm not. I, I'm definitely not a saint. I just feel feel bad at dunking on people. I personally do because I don't mean to. I well, feel bad about that. I like to my friends. I'm just like I don't want to do this, but you're making me do it. Here's the thing, you know, wine mom loves to be right, <laughs> yeah. and I love arguing to be right. Right. Mm. But I think at this point in my life, I'm understanding who I can have a pro like a real argument with and who I can't. Yes. I know 
I know that you two have brought me here because you're prepared to expand your knowledge and you're prepared to hear my arguments, right? Oh, That's why mm -hmm. this works because I'm willing to hear you guys tell me I'm wrong, even though I'm never wrong. And I'm here to tell you guys, you guys are wrong. Right. And that's fine. This is an, we've engaged in this and we agree upon it. Right. <laughs> but when one of my, at all. <laughs> <laughs> but when, of, when one of my friends come into my DM with an opinion that I don't align with, I'm just like, I'm uncomfortable. I, for me, I immediately feel uncomfortable mm -hmm. and I feel, I feel threatened because it's like, I don't feel safe enough to have an opposing opinion yeah. to a friend. Because yeah. the culture nowadays is like either you completely get along and agree a hundred percent, or you can't be friends. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. that's super toxic and gross. Yeah. So for me, I rather just be like, "Ha ha, cool, yeah, yeah, okay," and like literally, like you're not gonna bother me. I'm not doing exactly. That. Yeah, that's like mm -hmm. it's such, but like yeah, like just pick your battles essentially yeah like what my mom was saying it's just like you you your friend and you're supposed to have a, a safe relationship and if you have opposing views it, it gets kind of weird so like yeah. you 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 would have to like somehow like make them see seeing here your side mm -hmm. while not telling them they're wrong but yeah. you will have to like 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 just like being a good friend just like saying i don't i don't this doesn't matter that much to me to ruin our friendship that's right. that's what i have done in the past and yes yeah and it works well that's just like i've just gotten to the point now where it's like i know that i like okay this is gonna sound so wild to everybody i always want to argue about opinions and politics and things and just like TV oh, yeah, and pop culture. I always want to argue. Sounds wild. So wild. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I mean is like, the, what I'm trying to say is I save all of that for when I'm talking to you guys, either on or off podcast, because I know mm -hmm. that like I can vulnerably have my opinions, even if they're not good opinions. And mm -hmm. I know that we can have like a proper discourse. And like, mm -hmm. if I'm wrong, you're going to, I know that I'm safe here to be wrong. Mm -hmm. and like learn yeah. just like yeah. if you guys are wrong i would hope that you guys feel safe being that way with me and like mm -hmm. learning and, and that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. i know when i'm arguing with friends they don't want to be embarrassed they don't want to be wrong they don't want to admit yeah. when they're wrong yeah. and that so bingo. i don't want it right and yeah. i don't want to be the person that embarrasses my friends i'm just not cool with that anymore that's exactly what i was saying i don't i don't feel comfortable dunking on my friends right. at a party at a right. at a gathering Jesus. i'm just like but, well you make it but 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 in, but in, in the most in non go. no but i just want to say i just want to say in the most non-egotistical <clears throat> way that's how i'm trying to say it is like because yeah. yeah. i know that I, like some of the arguments that are coming at me i know that i could easily counter it but i'm yes. like is it worth the energy to like piss someone because this is the thing if you end up affecting them enough that you're like your opinion is right enough that they're like fuck how do i counteract it? you're just gonna make them mad yeah and is yeah. it fucking worth it it's never fucking worth it it, it isn't yeah. that yeah yeah that's why like what i say i don't like dunking on them i mean i don't like <laughs> making them look bad in front of our other friends well, i just that's... don't want to upset people i yeah. don't want people Fair, to be but... mad at me after having a different opinion i think at the yeah. same time though it, like those I think when you're saying it, the reason I jump to egotistical, right, is like you're saying dunk on people. I support what my mom you're saying here totally. And then it's like you're saying dunk on people. But something I think the important thing of what wine mom said is a lot of people don't have the emotional intelligence to be cool with being wrong. So I don't think right. it's not just them getting embarrassed by you dunking on them. I think like some of these people, I think particularly people with my skin tone have a issue with like admitting oh, that like they're quite that admitting that they're wrong admitting that they're wrong, like, it, yeah. it's 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 an embarrassing thing it's i i wasn't i didn't realize this was like a pertinent thing until like a few years ago that so many mm -hmm. people were scared are just scared in public of being like no you know what all right yeah sorry i was wrong i'm okay. like that too i'm like well, that let me, too. let me just tell you why though because when you have an argument with right and like we experienced this just before we started 
when you have arguments with people, you automatically go to what is the slur or what is the negative connotation they're going to put beside my name, right? Yeah. The, the mm-hmm. way that I think about it when I'm going to have an argument with someone is like in their phones, it's going to be my name, you know, dash whatever they yeah. think that I am. And it's like, yeah. I can't accept that. Not yeah. because it's like, like, I don't really care what people think about me. Like, fuck you. If you think I'm whatever, you, obviously you don't know me, but yeah. it bothers me when it's like my, my close friends are like, okay, I love this person, but like, also they're a stupid, dumb poop head. That yeah. hurts. I don't want yeah. that. Yeah. And I'd rather them just be like, okay, this is my friend. And like, I'm safe to express my views with them, whether we agree or not. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what I, yeah. that's what I prefer. Tell me what you need to tell me and know that I respect you, even if yeah. I don't agree with you. It's just like it's just like little comments I get, even though I'm not saying anything or doing anything that's engaging to whatever. Right. They're like, "Oh, don't say this, say that that around Reza, he'll get upset." I just turn around and be like, "The fuck are you talking about? Do I live rent free in your head? Do I like? Yeah, that's am they, I that they, important you to you?" You right, do, and that's like, where you gotta point, sit on your laurels. Go away, mom. Go. No, no, no. What I just. Just to say, to Bailey's point, right, when you talk about how specifically white people are the ones who have a hard time with these things, Mm. it's because as white people, we don't want to be labeled. Like, okay, do you know how much it sucks to be labeled a racist? Like, that Mm -hmm. sucks. When somebody, like, when you're trying to have an argument with someone and the first thing they say (laughs) is, well, you're racist. That's, that's like, okay, you've just shut down the whole argument. There is no room growth there's no room for discussion there is no room for anything that's my I go-to Reza, argument though. What i know are you about? i know you love that one i know you love that one but you're just being but racist listen, listen i know you love that one but what i'm saying is when you're trying to teach somebody specifically a white person you're trying to teach them something and your go-to is well you're racist so you're not going to get it anyways it's yeah. like now it's yeah. the same thing as them saying something to you derogatory and being like so you're not gonna well, get it so no i think this goes already... back to i think this goes back to your original <laughs> point right you need to educate people rather than like point and label right if you're gonna so sit what there I'm and saying... assume pie label is not gonna happen sorry right no. no it's okay but what i'm saying is like when that happens you've offended someone and you hit a wall so yeah. even if you have a valid point it doesn't matter anymore. You've offended mm-hmm. someone. You've hit a wall. The discussion is over. Yeah, That's just how it's going to go, mm-hmm. right? Like, even even if you're willing to hear someone call you, some, call you a, a derogatory term, and then you're willing to continue to talk to them or have a you know a healthy discussion, mm-hmm. most white people are not. They're not because of the 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 history the the history behind being called those things as a white person. So they're just yeah. not per- like once yeah. it gets to that point, they're like, okay, shut down. I- labeled or categorized as such because mm-hmm. of the way that media portrays it or the way that it's it's handled right so it's normal yeah. for them to be like eh, wrong finished not gonna yeah. do this anymore you're dumb i'm right i agree wrong. but not all labels are that extreme right like i'm talking more so like raza being around his friends and pushing leftist values he's saying i do i yeah. support <laughs> x wage being higher and they're going to mock him not particularly to having a label or being categorized you know what i'm saying yeah like like yeah like like i i totally agree with with what you're saying it's like a crutch that certain like people of color use because Mm -hmm. that's the i'll give y'all the 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 baileys of the world little cheat code for arguing with us is that um uh, when somebody calls you like racist, nine times out of ten, they don't have an argument. Exactly. To back, to yeah. back it up. Exactly. So, so when somebody calls you that, don't take that as anything. You shouldn't. Know. I, I again, I, I, I don't, I can't understand or relate. Um, but I have seen, I've seen people eloquently counter it. I've, I've seen mm-hmm. like how am I like you 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 just can't call me racist because I'm giving you uh, a good yeah. like a, a good argument you you, you you can't do that so when a person of color does that they may not have an argument and as a person of color I'm telling you this because I have yeah. used it on these two it works but in real and on but outside of the sphere it doesn't work so uh, uh, 
just be careful about that. Just be careful yeah. when you're engaging with a person of color and they call you racist. Look at to look into you to your argument. If if you made any racist things, you probably didn't. And you're like, what the hell are are you talking about? Right, mm -hmm. and then you can at attack them on why. Not, not attack, yeah. not attack. Moving, no, not attack them. Not attack. And Moving then, the goalpost. So That's I what think you that do. is. I think that is a super important, cool to bring up for the other side of the perspective too, right? Because then you're sitting mm -hmm. there. If you're, a, say, say, a more conservative person, right? As obviously, I think we can give off quite evidently where we sit on the political spectrum. But like, if you're on the other side of the coin, as a conservative person, someone's coming at you with these things, like just, just as we're saying, it's healthy to step back and set your boundaries and have a certain type of discussion with someone. Like as you're saying this, if someone's coming at you firing on all cylinders, just calling you names as well. You deserve some capacity of setting your own personal boundaries, even if you know, I don't particularly agree with your beliefs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think that's like, important sometimes... to say, you know. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. I just think, like, sometimes you have to, like, if you're on the receiving end of slurs or names or whatever, you just have to go and and realize that, like, that person has reached the capacity of their intellectual argument. Yeah. And you just have to yeah. say, okay, like, <sighs> I cannot stress it enough. It's not worth your energy. It's just it, not. Like, I know, it... I know Raza really enjoys those things. So, like, for him, it's not really draining his energy, it's revitalizing him. But <laughs> for me, <laughs> that stuff drains my energy. And, like, unless you're my, like, my mom or my grandma. I'm not. I'm not gonna argue politics with you. I just yeah. pick somebody else. It's Honestly, not, it's like, not gonna be me. And yeah. and people need to understand. Like, like in my world where I live, you know, every because like everybody, okay, everybody is an, all of a sudden just an apolitical expert, yeah. and they and like even because it just bugs me because I have a. Pl I, I, I'm gonna flex here for a, a second. I have a political science degree as 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 well. So like, <laughs> so um, uh, uh, it 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 it, it kind of bugs me when my friends who don't have the same knowledge that I do have such concrete standpoints on views that they don't <laughs> fully un understand. Yeah. And I'm s sitting there going. Jedi mode, Zen mode, and just trying to keep my cool without yeah. because if I attack a new word, yeah, if man, I yeah. go <laughs> after them, if I go after them, I'll get labeled as being triggered, as being somebody who's being like an SJW, somebody who's who's right. butt hurt about it, even though they're actually being wrong, and I'm trying to present them with. The real world stuff so it kind of like that is uh where, where were they going with that yeah uh that <laughs> is uh something that like i personally have to to do because people mm -hmm. as i said mm -hmm. are becoming experts in things they don't understand like yes. the, er, er, everybody is a doctor now everybody this whole thing this whole thing that's happening in canada everybody is now a lawyer Everybody is a yeah. is has a say, even though they don't have the proper yeah. uh, backing, the proper stuff to present their uh, uh, findings with. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of like bugs me, because like now everybody has a say. Everybody's trying yeah. to uh, sound yes. smart. Yeah. You well, know, that's how that, Twitter I think... is what it is, and that's it. That's yeah. Not... yeah, I think. Um... You're right with that statement. And I think that's a very big one because you, you talk about the fact that you have a political science degree and it's yeah. like, that's something that you have researched and worked yeah. on. And like, that's, that's something, you know, enough about to have a yeah. discussion. Right. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's like really the only thing that I have a lot of knowledge in, like, of course I have knowledge, but my big thing for me is true crime stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why anytime any big 
things around anything crime related happen, I get very strong opinions yes. about that stuff because I've yeah. done a lot of research. I've talked mm -hmm. to a lot of people. I've talked to psychologists. I've talked to lawyers. Like I've done this stuff as part of my research in what I'm doing. I read mm -hmm. things about the law. Like I look into this stuff. And so it's mm -hmm. very annoying for me when people want to argue with what I'm saying. And it's like, fundamentally, mm -hmm. fundamentally, you are incorrect. Yes. But yeah. I have to listen to you be wrong because you are fundamentally incorrect and you didn't take the steps to get to where you are. Yes. To yeah. understand why what you're saying is fundamentally wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, like literally down to the point of like scientifically impossible. That's how wrong you are. And I have yeah. to be like, okay, mm -hmm. just to be, get away from the argument because I just can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Like, like I have to deal with that on Twitter all the time. It's like, I'm yeah. The veins are popping in my head. This is why Bailey should, should get a Twitter account. But uh, the, the veins are are popping in my head because I'm trying to control. Be like you are, you are fucking. Uh, pardon my my French, but you are fucking stupid. Stop talking for s several days. Um, it's yeah. just yeah, it, it 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 irks me, and that's the only issue I have. Uh, it's just like people who don't know what they're talking about, all of a sudden have have become. But experts in something that Wine Mom, for example, has to take a couple of years to develop. Mm -hmm. to, de to I'm develop. slowly, I'm slowly getting better at accepting that by accepting the wild west of the internet and the fucking crazy era that we live in now. Because everyone's mm -hmm. gonna be an armchair professional in some career now, no matter what. Yeah. You, you start some sort of, whether you're a Twitch streamer or you're fixed mm -hmm. fucking doors for a living, there's gonna be some man's telling you you're an asshole and you put it on backwards. Yeah. yeah. You know. So yeah, it's that's. Like, I'm slowly getting better at accepting that. I'm not there yet. Again, I'm not the saint, but I'm trying to get to that point. Yeah. That's pretty fine. No, I yeah, I, I think I, I'm I'm going it in the opposite dire direction. Bailey is doing self growth, where I'm doing like how to tear myself down to to uh, to like go down and mess with a th filth down yeah. down there because i have the time in the world apparently so i just... mean that's fine raza but i think ultimately the advice for everyone who's not raza <laughs> is to like genuinely genuinely assess the situation and ask yourself is this is this person someone that i can have this discussion with or is this the kind of person who's very strong in their views and it's just not worth the effort because and, i get yeah. it i understand this like I don't want to call it a savior complex because it's not what that is, but it's like, I understand the need to be like, I care about you and I don't crazy mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. these things. I get it. But at mm -hmm. some point you have to just let it go. And like, there have been ton of, tons of times for me when people are like, oh, you're friends with that person. They have this opinion. And I'm just like, I don't know what that has to do with me. Yeah. 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 Like, people said have said okay. said that yeah. I am the person that they talk about. That's I'm, I'm yeah. like oh you're uh, like so, somebody came up to me and said so so it's in such th things you can I say the c word like like the like, the, like the Aussie Aussie's favorite I don't think so. No, like what North K Korea is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, I I have been called a communist before. I'm just like okay, based, but um, uh, but it's just like when people say, "Oh, Reza thinks like this, Reza thinks like that," then at that point they're drawing an image for me that's probably yeah. not true. Because yeah. nine times out of ten, nobody in here knows what communism is. Uh, they, yes. they've just seen North Korea and they're like, "Yeah, that's that, that that's communism." Yeah. <laughs> nah. uh, Huh, communism yeah. so but if how, like why mom gave you advice to people that aren't me but if you are like me uh just go in gun blazing um no, no regrets no no if you no, no 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 fast you also <laughs> there there the bailey method here which sometimes backfires severely as I try to... Which is like 60% of the time, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. You know, 40, 40. Um, <laughs> uh, 
I I tried to like journalism the situation. So it's very similar to wine moms of like go down to the science of like, okay, rather than because sometimes when someone's really passionate about a subject, they just want to be heard, even if they haven't mm -hmm. evaluated it fully. So if mm -hmm. I have the patience and it's someone that, again, I set the boundary with of, you know what, I'll put the energy here of like, then it's just like, and how so? And why do you think that? And how are I mean, they going to do that? Because sometimes they putter out about, yeah. again, 60 percent of the time, 60 percent of the time you want yeah. you get into a risky 40 percent where you scary. talk about 5G networks yeah. and all of a sudden it's, you're in a never ending conversation. You lost your game. Yeah. Yeah. Once, <laughs> you yeah. conspir once a person you're talking to comes to you with conspiracy theories at that point. Yeah, that's you when you got to go. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you have to walk Without. away from, from that conversation because yeah. the conspiracy the theory is such an easy conversation to lose because no matter what you say will never be good enough because they'll have an answer for everything. It's 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 funny you bring that up because I was talking to my mom about this on the weekend. We were just talking mm -hmm. about all political things going on right now in the world. Mm -hmm. And she knew somebody who was obsessed with conspiracy theories. And she was like, well, you know, once somebody has a, a conspiracy theory, like you can't get out of their heads. I'm like, the biggest issue, and we've talked about this before, the biggest issue with conspiracy theories is that there have been times when conspiracies have been proven to be correct. And that is the problem. Like because jet people fuel are like, doesn't this melt one steel time, Right. Oh, this yeah. one time this conspiracy was correct. So it's going to be correct every single All the time. time. Yeah, all the time. No, like, yeah. No, that is literally the ultimate coin flip. That is probability. We do not know. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you are. Yeah. If you bring a conspiracy theory to an argument, you are literally making a gamble with your credibility because yeah, like you're, uh, done. you're yeah. like, yeah, like what Wine Mom said, just because it that conspiracy theory was right a couple times in history doesn't mean it's right every single time. Okay, yeah. so I got one to get you two going off. Okay. Uh -oh. I don't want to go off. Right. Here we what, go. If, what if you say you have the energy, you've approached the situation healthily, right? Mm -hmm. How so you I'm out of this. You know they're talking about a conspiracy theory. How do you convince, how do you tell them that they're talking about a conspiracy theory? I just Make go, oh, wow, that's wild. Hmm, I'll have to look that up. That's literally as far as I go. <laughs> wow, that's wild. I have to look it up. That's it. That's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not even in just like you said, crazy people thing, and I'm finished. There is no <laughs> way. Ultimately, I... I'm out. So like what I do, I do, because I have been in that situation before, I, I just start quoting Alex Jones. I'm like yo, oh, so you, 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 in the water. You, 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 you're telling me they're making frogs gay? Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. I, all right, buddy. <laughs> no, so yeah, like, uh, like, cause, uh, if somebody is coming to you with conspiracy theories, like I have to deal with that quite a bit on mm -hmm. on Twitter. I just look at them like, look, I I know for a fact, I can't have a conversation. Uh, a yeah. serious conversation so i'm gonna have i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is make my day better and just have fun with, with it yeah See yeah what yeah it, yeah it takes me yeah put my volume down bitch um I but mean, uh <laughs> but I, um, I i don't have energy for that anymore twitter boy i used to i used to love that i you loved it when i was a young man and now i just mm -hmm. can't i don't it's just too much it's just too much i don't give a shit yeah, I think when it comes to conspiracy theories, I do try to check out, but I will say it does sometimes depend on the theory. Like, mm -hmm. if people talk about government surveillance, I'm having that argument. I'm I'm having that argument. I'm like I'm having that argument because I'm going to debunk it? you. Or no? Yes, I don't know because okay. because I'm going to debunk you in two seconds legitimately two seconds i'm going to debunk you i'm literally going to ruin your day so hot take alert hot take alert hot take wow, alert wow, wow, wow. <laughs> just get an alert next time that honestly happens. because yeah. the thing is like that is an argument 
that I have had so many times so often that I'm like, how is this even still an argument? Yes, the government is obviously watching us, but you're not helping yourself. You have a cell phone. That's the thing. You have a driver's license. I like how on on, on Twitter, be like, uh, the new uh, the new order is coming. Uh, the uh, the government it's is controlling us. Here. And then it's I say, forever. And then and then I say, tweet it from an, an an iPhone, and then I get blocked. Yeah. I was like, come on, man, I just want to yeah. have a. You carry a front-facing yeah. camera in your hand every day. Yeah, you've given up Try that way again a decade ago. Like, like, yeah, like, like if, if somebody hits you with like the government is watching you, you can be like, uh, yes. Next thing, next thing, you're gonna tell me that the sun rises and then goes down during the, the night. Bruh, listen. One true. I'm gonna tell you right now. One singular true crime. I'm watching research. Bailey. You research true. You research one true crime story, and you will quickly learn how much surveillance has existed since the fucking early '90s. And you will never, ever, ever, ever try an argument about conspiracy theories with the government watching us, because it's proven. We know this. It's not even worth the energy. Fuck off. Okay. Yeah. Thank next you. thing they're gonna be like, "Yo, there's a place called Area 51." We're like, "Oh, yeah, so <laughs> to get you. on to get on to I I got one add to that is like mm -hmm. in Raza's high horse about Western media bias, right? Because they're always like, "Oh, China's spying on us." It's like, "Yo, no, bitch, they're yes. all spying on us. Everyone's right. spying on us. Yeah. Like, not just China. Like you'll get." Yeah. America's got it. Canada's got it. Britain's probably got it. Fucking Look, Germany. You think Canada is, just gives the other allies privacy? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. um, to take that, I think we did. That was a good fun ending to the topic. That was a good round discussion. And I think we, like, gave some healthy advice as well as, like, brought some perspective if you were like a conservative person specifically on, the, on the receiving end draw blood just draw blood that's all i'm no, going to say the advice is don't <laughs> listen to raza just draw. protect your peace some arguments are not worth having just make sure you have just a monster oh my god turn his mic off stop him oh my god okay let's uh, move it on so he picked <laughs> on the theme of uh, of habits that may not be the healthiest. I've got an Am I the Asshole for this week, which I have not read ahead of time, but I like this Did title Did we so combine uh, the two topics? Uh, yeah, I just kind of segued them, too. We already answered it we by accident. We did, too, Rosa. Uh, you didn't say Toyotathon. That makes me sad. I'm sorry I didn't say your Toyotathon joke, because we accidentally say, answered anyway. the first question. But, all right, too much production talk. Okay, so am I the asshole for stealing my daughter's bike to teach her a lesson? My Hard. daughter... I know. I my daughter my has her own car. She regularly takes her bike to the lake to ride on the trail. The problem is she will leave her bike in the car even between trips to the lake. I've told her not to because someone is going to steal it if she leaves it in the car overnight, but she won't listen. So yesterday morning when she was still sleeping, I took her keys and I took her bike out of her trunk and hid it in the shed. She wakes up to go for a bike ride and freaks out because her trunk is open and her bike is missing. I told her this was going to happen so she shouldn't act surprised. Only when she started to call the police did I tell her what really happened. She started crying and ran to her room. My wife thinks I was wrong, but I think I was just teaching her a lesson. Am I the asshole? <sighs> I this is called a power... Past. Okay, yeah. I, I did um read the thread. So, spoiler alert, uh, the... Uh, yeah, like... The, the, I assume it's the dad is, is an asshole. Uh, yeah. Because it, it's a power trip. Um, it's like, uh, the, the bike was locked away in the car, um, unless there's a prowler lurk, lurking around, they don't have access to it, and they f physically need the car key to get inside the car. I assume the car has an alarm, so, um, uh, I think the, the, the parent is, is an asshole. That's, that's... Okay. Where... So I'm just gonna say, context is everything. <laughs> Because when I, you read the title, I was like, yeah, he's definitely not an asshole, right? Because yeah. 
I had a different idea of where the bike was. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking, oh, uh, if she's leaving it, like, just outside, not chained up, or if she's leaving it, you know, on a bike rack on the back of the car, then, like, you're an idiot. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but the fact that it was concealed inside the trunk, locked in a vehicle, like, at that point, you're just, like, you're just a mad dad who doesn't mm -hmm. want the bike in the car for whatever reason. Um, she's a little bit silly leaving it in the car all the time, only because it's making your car heavier, which is burning your gas, sweetheart. So let's not do that anymore. Um, but no, he's an asshole. He's a dick bag. enthusiast up there. Sorry. Yeah, he, he's a jerk. Yeah. He could have he could have just let her learn that lesson organically. He didn't have to do like if the bike genuinely yes. got stolen out of the car, like that's her own problem. Um, but I feel like that was just a little silly. The only thing I could think it make, making sense is if the car was like a hatchback and you could see the bike in the car and she's driving it like and parking in parking lots and going to school, stuff like that. Mm. Then maybe mm. he has an argument because somebody might just go, oh, break this window and take this bike that mm. that you have an argument there. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, no, you're just you're just a, you're just a dad that feels like this is how things should be done. And you're annoying and you're a jerk. And yeah. You go bother somebody else. With your yeah. Yeah. I'm an yeah, extreme it, because my family was like the extreme of like let the shit happen to you to learn the lesson. Yeah. So I okay. I grew up that way of then like okay well if you, the bike gets stolen then you got to deal mm -hmm. with that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So. I mean, as a kid, I had too much anxiety to to make that risk, but yeah, my yeah, mom was no. very much like I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you one. You don't listen, you'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm on board. Dad is asshole. Dad is asshole. Yeah, he sucks. Daddy he's is. Uh, he's a mad dad. He's a mad. He's a yeah. mad lad. He's gonna catch these hands. Okay, guys. Yeah. And then before we close out, we've got mm -hmm. Raza's iconic, iconic. You have segment. to read it in an accent, though. What? I didn't bat at accents. I can read it in a goofy voice. Just so. like a Shakespearean accent. Be like, uh be like i will give you an example um okay so i okay what is it what is it what's your what's your uh, example uh, i wait for this every week uh hurry uh, up give me my um, bit uh, uh, <laughs> uh who's ready for, for more blowback okay so you want me to go okay. like radio producer so just a little um, yeah. yeah mother do you think they'll try to shave my balls Yes. Yes. Are, yes. What is the context? Just, <laughs> just people trying to shave uh, his, his his balls. So did he get kidnapped? Is this an a, a, a abusive, a, 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 a not surgery? fun situation? You know. This is what happens when communism takes over America. Oh my gosh! <laughs> 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 Don't your yes, <laughs> yes, I like it. Um, no, but seriously, uh, I hope I don't know the context about this, but I assume it's about communism. Um, but don't do that. I'm gonna have a, a mental breakdown on, on, on stream. Uh, no, but yeah, uh, mother, do you think they'll try to shave my balls is a very <laughs> concerning <laughs> question. And the mother should be able to respond but like, like, no, son, I, I won't let them. Those... You know what? <laughs> Oh my if god. Your kid, man. If your kid asks you a question that dumb, tell them yes. Make them make them trust. Because it's not you're your gonna problem. scar that kid. That's you're, yeah. yeah. You're gonna scar that. Yep. Well my mom is gonna tell like her three year old child, like, yeah, Santa isn't real. Like are you like, I would never I would never you know how I feel about Santa. <laughs> I would never <laughs> or, or it's me putting the uh, um, uh, money under your your uh, pillow. There's no such thing. Okay, as, low as, key. It's a, a fairy. Low key, I might expose the tooth fairy. Low key, low key. I might be like, hmm, I don't know where she gets all this magic. I guess. I mean, I mean, my parents sort of broke that. Uh, the facade early on because I woke up one night 
and my dad was putting in a oh my gosh a loony underneath the house. <laughs> I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, wait a second, they're very <laughs> honestly <laughs> one of one of my I guess we'll close out the show and then I'll tell the story. Okay, all Which right. Is the reason for you to be here live and to hang out after the show because that's when you get fun stories. That's how you segue. So thank you, yes. kids. Thank you for turn, tuning out, uh, tuning in, tuning out, turning in, all those things. Um, I'm going to throw the outro on, and then we're going to hang out after. So we will see you soon, and then I'm going to cut it here. But so anyone watching, I'm going to let you know I'm going to run an ad right after the outro. So just a 30-second one, just so you know. All right. We'll be back, kids. Thank you again for watching us badly talk about these, these topics. You can follow us on Twitch, Marching Into madness all one word no space on the gram marching underscore into underscore madness and on patreon at patreon.com slash marching into madness and again on le discord a at marching into madness join us and bailey will pay you 10 whole canadian dollars <laughs> You can follow Whitey over at Harley <laughs> underscore me media on the Insta. You must definitely follow the life of our, of our whole podcast, Wine Mom, at X Wine Mom X because the year is 2002 and we still have, have the X in our names. And me, your favorite uh, brown boy, at underscore R dot R Malik on underscore. Thank you for the third time. We love you. Drink some milk and be healthy. Remember, kids, say no to school and yes to <laughs> 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 It's like such bad advice. It's like here we put this well-formulated podcast together with good insight on facts and truth and political points and social issues. Don't go to school, dude. Oh, God. Ba Bailey the looks to be shouldn't be near school after saying that. <laughs> was like, Bailey listens to me say the sentence and he goes, mm, maybe I should say my sentence now. Ha, 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 ha.